In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Exodus desktop wallet. I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Everybit Helps. I really hope you enjoyed this video today and if you do then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews and step-by-step -step guides. For those of you familiar with my channel, you'll know that Exodus is one of my favourite software wallets. The Exodus wallet, who were launched in 2015, have a great design. And they now support over 110 different types of cryptocurrencies. Plus, they have a mobile app for exchanging on the go too. Their wallet is also private and safe, as they encrypt the private keys and transaction data on your device for only you to see. Plus, there's no registration or verification that you have to go through and you can manage your crypto in Exodus securely from a Trezor hardware wallet too. If you've not already downloaded it, you can do so from their website. And it's available for Windows, Mac and Linux, as well as mobile apps for the App Store and Google Play. So let's jump into the Exodus software wallet. So once you've installed and assigned a password, you'll be presented with the home screen. And from here, you can see your portfolio with a pie chart to see how this is distributed between your different types of cryptocurrencies. You can then view some charts over specific time periods, such as a month, six months or a year. And then you've got some information in relation to your portfolio. So you get an idea of the 24 hour change. You can see what your highest balance was. You can see your portfolio age and the best and worst performing asset too. Then under that, you've got a list of different assets. So you've got the name, what the current price is, you get an idea of the 24 hour change, the market cap, you get to see a 30 day trend. You get to see your own balance that you have of that cryptocurrency, the current value and your portfolio percentage too. And if you'd like to see more from this screen, you can add in more cryptocurrencies to kind of track their values. Then if we scroll up to the top, you can also take a look at all the transactions that you have across all of your portfolio. So let's just take a look at the wallet on the left hand side here. So here is where we have all our individual cryptocurrency wallets. So you can view the balance for that specific cryptocurrency and it will show you that in your chosen fiat currency as well as the asset currency. Then under there you can check out some price charts and track how the price is changing. And again, you can do that over specific periods of time. Plus, you can also check out the description for that coin. So it will give you like a brief synopsis about that coin that just gives you a little bit more information. Then underneath all that, you'll have an idea of all the different transactions that you've made for that currency. Now from here, you can also send. So you can send your funds from here across to another wallet or to an exchange using either the Bitcoin address or the QR code here. You can simply type in the amount of Bitcoin, that you'd like to send across, or you can choose either half or all of all of your portfolio. And before you send it, you'll want to check out the network fee, which will appear at the bottom here in both your chosen currency and the asset currency too, as well as any remaining balance that you'll have. And if you want to receive funds, in here it will show your receiving address and your associated QR code too. So if you have funds over on an exchange, for example, this is your wallet address to send it to. then you'll have the same repeated information for any other cryptocurrency that you have in your wallet. And you can add in more different types of cryptocurrencies so that you can view things like their price charts and their descriptions too. Now, one really great thing about this wallet is the ability to be able to view your private keys with ease, which you can do by clicking onto the three vertical dots here in the top right hand corner. And then you can go to view private keys. Now, just be aware that exposing your private keys is extremely harmful as someone with access to these can have access over all of your funds. So what they do is they come up with a warning asking whether or not you want to show your private keys and make sure that you're in a private location and that no one else can see your screen. If you're happy, you can then go ahead and say, yes, I'm sure. And then your private keys will then appear on screen. And if you have some funds over on a Trezor wallet, I'll show you how you can pair your Trezor device with the Exodus wallet. And this is really great for managing and exchanging your crypto in Exodus securely from your Trezor. 
And if you don't already have a Trezor, I'll pop a link in the summary below. Now I'm just going to head over to the Exodus site. And as you can see here, they say that there's three simple steps to get started. First of all, you need to obviously get your Trezor, and then you need to go ahead and install your Trezor bridge, which you can do from their website by clicking onto the link. Now I've already installed my Trezor bridge, so I'm now going to open up my Exodus wallet and pair my Trezor device. So if you plug in your Trezor device and enter in your PIN number, you can see that my Exodus has automatically found my Trezor device and it asks me whether I'd like to securely pair this Trezor with Exodus. You can use Exodus to easily manage your assets from the security of your hardware wallet. So I'm going to click on to connect. The pairing is now in progress and it could take a couple of minutes for this to go through. And that will obviously depend on the amount of different assets that you have on your device. And it will then show you a list of your different assets that you have successfully paired. Now if I go to continue to portfolio, you'll now see that from my home screen, next to my portfolio tab, I now have a new tab with the name of my hardware device at the top here. And I now have the portfolio information for my hardware device. And it will show me again exactly the same information as we had on our original Exodus portfolio. So it provides me with all my different assets, it shows me my balances, and I can view these via pie charts again. And as you can see, my total balance in the top left hand side of the screen now, now combines the two different types of portfolios together. Now if I just take us down to our settings, and under the devices section, in here is where you can enable the option to automatically detect the Trezor. So if your Trezor wasn't automatically detected, just ensure that this is switched to on. And if we now just take a look at the exchange on the left hand side here. So from here you can exchange any active balance that you have and select a cryptocurrency that you'd like to exchange to. And as you can see there are so many different types of cryptocurrencies that you can exchange to. Now this won't be the cheapest way to exchange your funds but it's a convenient way so that you can diversify your portfolio. But to be honest I'd recommend using the likes of Binance, Coinbase Pro or the Blockchain Exchange for any kind of asset exchanges as this is where you'll get the best prices. But if you were to use this convenient way, you can either exchange from your Exodus portfolio or from your hardware device. You put in the type of cryptocurrency that you'd like to exchange from and what you'd like to exchange to. So in this example, I'm exchanging from Bitcoin to Cardano. You can put in the amount that you'd like to exchange from. And as you can see, there are minimum amounts depending on which type of cryptocurrencies that you're exchanging from and to. And with Bitcoin, that minimum is 0.0042 Bitcoin. And it will then show you how much you'll get in your chosen crypto exchange. And when you're happy to do so, you can then click on to exchange and that will automatically exchange for you and appear in your portfolio. Then finally on the left hand side, we have our backup. And this is where you can view your recovery phrase in case anything ever goes wrong and you need to recover. Now this goes without saying, but just make sure that you keep this safe and never share this with anyone, as if anyone gets access, they can steal all of your funds. And this backup just applies to your Exodus wallet and not any associated Trezor device that you have connected. There's also some personalization that you can do under the settings, where you can change your currency, for example, and you can also change the colors and backgrounds and textures or skins for your wallet. Then under your help section, they have some help videos, help desk, Twitter and email support too. Now I've personally used the Exodus support a few times and unlike some other platforms, I found it really helpful and they gave a prompt response. And it's really important that you keep your software wallet up to date any new versions will be prompted up on screen and you can just follow the instructions. So that was my overview of the Exodus wallet and I hope that you enjoyed this video today and if you did then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews and tutorials. Thanks and I'll